Jeffrey Epstein started his targeted grooming and manipulation of me as a child when I was in New York City for a school trip. I first came into contact with an assistant of Epstein's while on a high school drama club field trip to New York City. I was invited to his home. There, his assistant took a photo of me and then later reached out to me inviting me to Epstein's ranch. I only knew Jeffrey Epstein for five days during a trip to Zora Ranch, his massive compound surrounded by government land in the New Mexico desert. Epstein took my sexual innocence in front of a wall of, famed of framed photographs of him shaking hands and smiling with celebrities and political leaders. I was only 15 years old. After, he wanted to talk with me about what had just been my first sexual experience and directed me to take time to myself that night to cry. He said that would be beneficial to my growth. After this, we had a long talk about my future goals. I told him that I wanted to go to college to study biochemistry. He said that he wanted to give me money for college. He asked me how much money I thought he should give me. At 15 years old, living in northern Michigan with my mother, stepfather, and grandfather, I had no idea how to respond to a billionaire who had just raped me. I was being asked to quantify in monetary terms what had been taken from me. After I returned to Michigan from Zorro Ranch, I was contacted by one of Jeffrey Epstein's assistants and invited to Epstein's Island, where I was told Prince Andrew, among others, would be a guest. I declined the invitation out of fear. I had only experienced a glimpse of Jeffrey Epstein's world, but it left me with residual trauma, which seriously impacted the trajectory of my life from that moment on. I left Zorro Ranch with a deep sense of shame, not just the shame of him having sexually abused me, but the shame of knowing that I had somehow been duped. It was the weight of Epstein's wealth, the isolation to which he subjected me, and his discussion of his social connections that crushed me into submission far more than his physical strength. I would also like to say that I agree with Gloria that Prince Andrew and any others who are close to Epstein should come forward and give a statement under oath on what information they have. All the information pertaining to, the, to and around this case is important. Just because Epstein is dead does not mean that others around him don't deserve their day in court as well. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.